Actually, I don't even know why, but I just figured it out now because I was on live with you guys. But I appreciate that. But anyways, I'm about to go get some lunch. Yo, that just scared that. Did y'all see that? I thought I thought I was getting swatted. Did y'all just see that? Dan didn't thought I was going to. My heart just stopped. DJ Ben 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 Dan. I promise you, one of these days we're going to get it together. What, what time is it? We're not too late. Uh, yeah, we only five minutes late. We still got time to play the intro. Let me play the intro. Hang on a second. Uh, right here. Boom. Warning. 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 Tonight's forecast is a total blackout. You know what that means, baby, baby. It's the blackout with DJ Benjamin Black. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Taj, man. I want to give a big, big shout out to my brother, my guy, DJ Bandana Black. The Black Eyed Buffalo stand up. God Squad, Free Dick Wolf. Leo, what's good, Buffalo? This your boy, Uncle Murder, from Brooklyn, East New York. And you already know I'm rocking with the homie DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, the Blackout. This the king of Philly, Gilly the Kid, and kings only rock out with kings. So you know I'm rocking out with my man, DJ Bandana Black, a.k.a. Mr. I Am Buffalo. Huh? Hey, yo, what's poppin', man? It's your boy Spills, and you are now tuned into The Blackout, hosted by DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. You already know we got love for you. What's I see in DJ Bandana Okay, we are here. We are here. What's going on, people? 716-235-1016 if you want to call in, too. This actually kind of feels and looks like a little show right here. This is actually, this is the look that I was going for right here. It's pretty dope. Even though I keep looking at the wrong camera, I should be looking at that one, but, um... You see a little head walking back and forth in the background. It is my daughter watching TV over there somewhere. But um, yeah, we gotta talk. Uh, we gotta talk about uh, this Alpo situation, and we gotta talk about uh, these rumors of him faking faking his death. I don't know why people just come up with this malicious uh, <laughs> uh, rumors and stuff like that. But let's get to some of these com- uh, some of these comments. General Cho says. And off work uh, for two days. Woo, yeah, I got I got Sundays and Mondays off, so I'm only off of work on Sundays and Mondays, and those are the only two days that I have my daughter. So it's kind of hard to be, really do anything, um, but I figure out a way. Um, and what else is I about to say? Yeah, I'm only off on Sundays and Mondays. Actually, she's about to start uh, dance class for the first time today too. She starts her first dance class today, so she's excited about that. Um, it's another thing I got to pay for. It. I'm gonna be broke about. It's cool though. It's cool though. Um, major content on these YouTube streets right now. Uh, Keenish Johnson 46. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing YouTube looking crazy out here right now, yo. Uh, let me see. Always good, fam. Been a while. What up? Gotta send you my artist on Rock Nation. Christian L, the R&B Ruger featuring Give Me On. All right, yeah, yeah. Hit me up, hit me up. Uh, Uncle Murder, my, yeah, Uncle, yo, Uncle, I gotta, yo, Uncle Murder, I gotta interview with Uncle Murder, right? This is probably one of the, I, I wasn't even able to, to air the, uh, the interview. I, I had an interview with Uncle Murder back when I was on radio, but the stuff that he was just saying after the interview, I just, I, I listened to it and I was just like, yeah, I, I can't, I can't put this out on radio. This is probably gonna, I'm gonna get locked up playing this, this, this interview, but yeah, Uncle Murder cool as hell. Uncle Murder funny as hell. Now, if I was on some Vlad TV type ish, could have broke that down, a couple of little clickbait titles, probably could have went viral. Um, but yeah, just certain things. Yeah, Uncle Murder is funny. Like, Uncle Murder, the, the person that, the Uncle Murder, the rapper, Uncle Murder, the person is the exact same person. Um, Uncle Murder, my end. Mega Bills, ain't Duck Wolf cooperating, who's saying free him? Uh, I have no idea. That's the, that's the intro to the joint. I don't even know who, the, who that is. Like I said, I don't know anything about that. I'm the type of person where, unless I see paperwork, me, myself, see paperwork on you. I don't, that, that has nothing to do with me. Um, Spills was good. Button and hit the like button for D. Oh yeah, yeah. Please hit the like button. I forgot to tell you that. Please hit the like button. And always, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel too. Taking your, your time out your day to watch the videos, like the videos, share the videos, all that good stuff. Definitely appreciate you guys. Um, fake is death to do what? Come back to Harlem <laughs> at eighty mega bills. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, why is why is it a thing that Alpo faked his death? Like, out of all the rumors, why would he need to fake his death? Like, I can understand. Him snitching, going to jail, faking his death, and like staying low key. You know what I'm saying? Fake your death, stay low key, so you won't get hurt. He was outside telling people that he was outside. He was outside on HD, like camera, no ratchet, no security, no nothing like that. So what would he need to fake his death for? So I think the rumors of him faking his death to go into protective custody, protective custody for what? Honestly, and I'm this is just my take on it. You know what? I'm gonna save my take on it. I'm gonna tell you guys why I think Alpo got killed, and it's not because of what he did back then. I'm gonna tell you why I think that he got killed. It's not because of what he did back then. It's 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 clout chasing. 
I'm, I'm, gonna I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no names like that too, but I'm gonna explain to you why and the times and all that too. But we're gonna talk a little bit and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys about that. But that's, that's kind of crazy. Winner on the way, right? Yo, bandana fix my windshield wiper. Shit still broke. <laughs> Terrible. Not good. Uh, facts. Aphrodite him have no idea what that says. I probably read that wrong. Duke of Ellie McCoy says blessings King heavy shouts out Duke of Ellie McCoy heavy shouts out to everybody. I don't know what it is about, um, North Carolina and Texas, but North Carolina and Texas behold me down heavy on the channel. I mean, everybody behold me down, but something about the people from North Carolina and Texas been hold me down. I mean, people just be, Oh, been holding me down heavy, North Carolina and Texas. But shout out to everybody. I just wanted to send a special shout out to North Carolina and Texas too. Got a lot of, a lot of bandana fam out there. We got bandana fam all over the world. We connected all over. Everybody's bandana fam, but I just wanted to, to, to send a shout out to them. There was no blood on the scene. Um, yo, Ben, let me see. There was no blood on the scene. No, that was right. Like I said, Alpo getting killed has nothing to do with cloud chasing streets. Pass will catch up to you, period. Um, I think that, I think that that's a, I think that you're right. I'm not going to say that you're wrong. That's an opinion. And more than likely, that's probably what happened is, I mean, he did a lot of wild stuff back there. Rich Porter, uh, the other guy I forgot his name, no disrespect. Um, so maybe that did catch, 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 catch back up to him, but maybe it was something else. If we look, not even look a little bit deeper, but we just kind of put some things together. Like I said, this is just my opinion. I don't know anything. I've never been to Harlem a day in my life. Honestly, that's the only place on earth I want to go before I die. I got to go to Harlem because I'm the number one Dipset fan. Even though they let me down for the verses and I was mad at them for a long time and I said, fuck Dipset and I was going to be a Locks fan and I was like, fuck Joel Santana and Jim Jones and all that. Even though I said that, I said he's some bitch ass niggas because they lost the versus battle. I ain't really mean that though. I was just hurt as a fan because I, I was the number one, number one Dipset fan. My name wouldn't be banned in the black besides that. But we was able to get past that. So, um, yeah, I forgot the point that I was making. <laughs> uh, I forgot. It was one of the comments that you guys just said. Uh, hold on a second. There was no blood in the scene. Went in the way. No, that was right. Like I said, I'll pull clout. Oh, yeah. The clout chasing thing. It's, it's That's what made me, made me think about that. But I, I don't want to say that too early in here. I want to have a little bit of conversation. I want to give you guys my opinion. Because then you can tell me whether I'm tripping. You can tell me, like, yo, Bandana, you bugging. Like, there's no way that that's the reason why Alpo got killed. You can tell me I'm bugging. Maybe I'm bugging. Like I said, just my theory. It's the first day theory. But it is. He just got approved for protection custody. He was already in protect, protective custody. Though. Like he left, he went outside. They was like, "Yo, you safe in here? He was your name, you good?" And he was like, "Nah, I'm gonna go get a chopped cheese." <laughs> Basically, what he did. They was like, "Yo, listen, we got like a half a million dollars worth of government funding to make sure nobody catches up with you and nobody knows who you are, and you just stay in this house and you can order steak, lobster, all that." He was like, "Nah, I don't want to smoke cigarettes, but I'm about to. I'm about to go to 14th and 145th and get a Lucy. I don't know if them streets match, but I know like New York City is a bunch of number streets. I'm just being funny. I'm just saying. My bad. No disrespect. I already know. I already know it's no fly zone for me in parts of the Bronx and uh, parts of the Bronx and what did they say? Somebody was in the comments talking crazy. They showed me love all over, but um, it was somewhere in the Bronx. It was part of was it Manhattan? I don't know. I I, I don't care honestly." Ready to see you do some interviews. Uh, yeah, we definitely got some interviews coming up. I actually have a dope interview with the, um, this is going to sound crazy. Y'all going to be like, yo, Bandana Black, this, we definitely got to tune into this interview because if you're saying this, um, it's going to be special. But I actually have an interview uh, with the R&B singer, a dope singer uh, from Buffalo, New York. That's actually, I'm not going to say no names. I ain't going to say any more than that, but a dope singer from R&B, from Bandana Black, saying R&B from Buffalo, New York. That's going to be crazy. That interview, uh... Should be within the next week or two. Definitely should be within the next week or two. Um, he dead, but Jeffrey Epstein not dead. He just got a proof of text. He dead. Let me see. I saw a dude get shot in his stomach and die in the corner of Davidson and Jerome when the cops came and rolled him over. There was no blood at all, just a hole in his hoodie and his stomach. Yeah, that that no blood thing. That don't mean anything. you can you can you can get shot a couple times and it, it'll be no blood. It really depends on how it hits you, the way you land, all that. So just because there was no blood doesn't mean that he wasn't uh, wasn't killed. You know, I gotta switch the screen to show the chat on this side because it looks like I'm just like dazing off into space, but I'm actually looking at the comments over here. Maybe I should move this. Actually, you know what? I have to move the camera. Never mind. But I, just so y'all know, I'm not crazy like staring off into space, but the computer with the comments is right here, but the camera is over this way. I'm gonna figure it out so I don't look crazy uh, going forward. Um, ready to see you do some interviews? Yeah, yeah, we definitely got some interviews coming up. People be saying anything. Dude ID already had the new identity. What you mean going into witness protection is choppy. You heard internet fake gangster Brian McKnight 
<laughs> nah, not Brian McKnight. This is a a, a seven one six uh, uh independent artist. I would say independent artist soon to be. Y'all gonna see this, and I, I might have the first interview with this artist too from Buffalo, New York. R and B artist that's dope. I'm telling you, R and B artist that's dope. Y'all know I only listen to, I only listen to the soundtrack to a felony. So if if somebody ain't getting shot, stabbed, ain't no drug sold, and anything that I listen to or watch on TV probably doesn't interest me. I know it's wrong. It's slightly toxic. I'm just telling you the way that I am. But it's R and B singer from Buffalo. I'm trying to tell y'all now, it's gonna be dope. Hang on, let me just reset this real quick. This camera is kind of special to where every 30 minutes you got to like flick it on and off. By the way, too, I'm not like itching and scratching myself. I, uh, I quit smoking. I actually, what's today? Is today the first? Oh shit. Hold on. Is today the first? Hold on. Hold on. Is today the first? Oh yeah. I'm one month no cigarettes. Big one month no cigarettes. Got my little nicotine patch right here. And I was scratching myself when you put the nicotine patch on to do kind of itch. But yeah, I have not had a cigarette in 30 days. I have not had a cigarette since the first of last month. No cigarettes at all, no Lucy's, no just cut me shorts, no none of that. But this patch joint do itch, but yeah, I know y'all don't care about that. I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to better my life and saying get healthy, you know, do those type of things. I'm heavy on my sea moss too. Um, shouts out to Solar, shouts out to Spills, um, shouts out to Leah too. I got a couple plugs with the uh, with, with the sea moss in the city too. Um, but yeah, gotta stay healthy, yo. Gotta stay healthy. Uh, let me see, Brian McKnight. You can bleach. You can bleed internally when you shot. Yes, you definitely could. Dope. He was already in witness protection when he got released in 2015. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like he was already in witness protection. Like there would be no reason for him to uh there would be no reason for him to fake it to, to fake his death. Like now fake his death to go into the witness protection for what? He was already in witness protection. He left witness protection. They was like, yo, here's some protection. And he was like, nah. <laughs> I'm with I'm I'm I'm, I'm out here in these streets. It's basically what he said, and I mean that's an unfortunate situation, even though we do. Uh, this is what I want to say, too, before I get to the reason of why I think that my personal uh, I'm not going to say a pain, my personal theory of why uh, Alpo got killed. I just want to say this. Right. Um, you never know. Do, do I agree with telling? Do I agree with snitching? No. Do I agree with killing people? No. Do I agree with selling drugs? Any of that? If you're put into us, let me I'll put it put it like this. Right. So I don't agree with any of this stuff. Right. But if you throw me in a Mexican prison and tell me that I got to spend the next 20 years there, I'm not just going to sit around and say, well, I'm not Mexican. I'm not I'm not used to this. This ain't got to do with me. I want to adapt. I want to have to do what I have to do, right or wrong, in that environment and, 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 and what's going on. So although what Alpo did was was wrong, him dying affects more than just him. Like he has kids. He has people who still love. He has some serious street people still from New York City who still have love for for, for, for for Alpo and it's just a sad situation all over. It's a sad situation. His situation was sad. First of all, what he did to his own friend and you can kind of even watching those interviews, seeing how he regrets that he had to do it to his friend, but he justified himself as far as what, like I said, I don't, right or wrong. I don't know. That's between them. i um, kind of justified it um, himself between those two, but it's just a sad situation because everybody's affected by it. Like I said, he got, he got, he got family, he got friends, he got kids, people who have absolutely nothing to do with nothing, who never told, never did anything. And, they're going to have to deal with his, his choices. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a messed up situation. Now, on to my theory of why. Uh, oh, on to my that's just my daughter walking by. But on to my uh, theory of why I think uh, not why I think Alpo got killed. Well, we are why or who? Um, l- let me let me just say it like this, right? So, hold on, let me read some of these comments and I'm gonna say it. I promise we're gonna wrap this up because I'm just starving. I gotta make lunch. Uh, that's dope. I just did it. I just. Dead at them today. He got released. Good shit. I quit smoking as well. I've been out about three months now. Okay, okay, salute. Shout out to SSG, SSG, O U K I. Damn, you three months, no cigarettes? Definitely. Bro, you good. Do your thing. Appreciate that. Sean Briggs, don't even worry about the cams. Facts, because he, cause he snitched tight, right? I heard he killed two people that may have gotten him killed. I can I heard that too. I did hear that too. I don't know how how true that is. I did hear that too. Um, the easiest person to kill is one that thinks it can't happen. He was facing the federal death penalty. Federal death penalty is different. There's no state out of execution. They get rid of you quickly. Um, I'll say this. I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that. Hang on a second. Should we? You, I'm gonna be done with this in a minute. You have to turn it off until I, or mute that until I get done with this. Thing. I'll let you know when I'm done. Just give me like uh like ten minutes. You can't can't you watch that in your room? Yeah. 
Okay. I'll let you know when I'm done up here, though. But, um, so Alpo did this years ago, right? So the movie came out. We all watched the movie. Everybody hates Cam. It's crazy. People was really hating Cameron in real life because of Alpo. That's fucked up. Like, it's crazy when a, a movie can actually, you know what? It's not because I hate, uh, Tariq in real life because of power. Like because of the show power, I never met Tariq in real life, but the actual actor, whatever his name, because of what he did in power, I hate this guy in real life. If I seen him, I probably try I probably try his jaw just for my man Ghost. Long live Ghost. But that's neither here nor there. But um the, the reason why I'm saying about this uh this Alpo situation is because he did this years ago, right? So Alpo killed his man years ago, he did all his grimy stuff years ago. Got uh federal protective he got protective custody, new identity. He obviously didn't get like the plastic surgery, but he got the, the new identity. It looks like he got a couple of dollars. Um he, he was set to, to 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 never have to deal with the repercussions of basically what he did in the streets. Uh Rich Porter and anybody else. He never had to do that. And then Apple basically one day said, Fucking came outside, forget forget protective custody and all that. Now, Apple didn't just come outside. This is what I'm getting at as far as why or who who may have the reason why they had killed him, why I say it, it might be clout chasing is because they, if, if this is because of his past, why do it now? Like why right now in 2021, why do it right now? There's so many movies. When he did the interview, when he was walking by, he literally pulled up and said, this is exactly where I killed this man at. No, nothing happened to him. Then not happened to after that. Like I said, I might be wrong. This is like my theory. You know, sometimes happening. You just think about yourself. I might be a hundred percent wrong, but I feel like with all that he did, if something that was going to happen to him, he doing willies and shit all through Harlem. Every, he taking pictures, putting his arm around, putting all that, all, all that too. I think that the people of his generation that would owe him that, uh, that, that karma, I don't think it was him. I think it was probably, when I say cloud chasing, somebody who was just young that just like, yo, this nigga's a rat. He's just riding by here on motorcycles and shit. Cheese, like, that shit ain't cool. Like, let me put this work in for my name or whatever like that, too. I think that that might have been more the situation only because why did it happen just now? Like, what what would – that was years ago. Like, if you if you kill somebody who I love today and you go do 10 years in jail, I'm not waiting until you free another 5, 10 years to, for something. I mean, actually, I'm not going to do anything. I'm a citizen. I don't do any criminal activity. But I wouldn't want something to happen to you five, 10 years down the line. I want something to happen to you and me because I might die before it happened. But listen, this is my theory. I might be wrong. I don't know. I did hear that other thing about rest in peace to the two other people. That might be the same situation too. But only thing with that is Alpo is such a high profile person that if that was true about the uh, passing the other two people, and that's the reason why I think that kind of would have, he would have got picked up on that. It would have been something something in the news or something about that. Not just Lil Haas X doing a video saying that Alpo just got arrested for gunning two people down and it absolutely didn't happen. Not just Lil Haas X, a.k.a. says, <laughs> putting that false information out there. Um, but besides that, no, nah, I don't think that's true. Um, I think it was someone from D.C., I, I'm, when I, and when you say someone from D.C., like I said, when I said, the people of Alpo's age bracket D, in the world, D.C., New York, because he did some grimy shit to people from D.C. He did some grimy shit to people from New York, but he was actually in New York. So it, I think that whoever had a gripe with Alpo so bad that they wanted to get him right now wasn't of his his age his age bracket. I think it was somebody much different than his age bracket. That's just my theory only because why now? Alpo been out for years. Somebody from D.C. could have been came up and slid and took care of that. Somebody from New- he was in New- he was doing Willie's past the bodega. Imagine you saying, "Yo, this is a rat ass nigga." When I see him, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And you hop out of the bodega with your chopped cheese. And this nigga flying down the street on a motorcycle every day. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, facts that federal death penalty might change your no snitching policy. Not even the federal death p- penalty. Realistically speaking, a lot of people be talking this no snitching, no telling stuff. I always say this. Until you're in that position, you don't know what you would do. That's why I always say make sure that you're not in that position. Because I can I'll tell you right now, on everything I love, I would never tell, I would never snitch, I would never do anything. Never do anything. Have I ever been facing 50, 60 years with somebody telling me you won't be able to see your daughter or something like that too? No. Will I ever try to put myself in a position to know whether I would crack? No. So I can safely say I wouldn't. Same way everybody else will say they uh, safely say they wouldn't. Same way all these street and gangster people and these gangster rappers say the exact same thing until it happens to them. That's why you shouldn't be putting yourself in these dumbass positions. You making money. You doing good. You on the internet and videos showing guns and, and, and doing a bunch of dumb shit for you to get locked up, potentially snitch. And I, I just don't get it. I don't know. I just don't get it. I think it was someone from D.C. The feds are still the feds are all about budget and cutting costs. 
If you're on federal death row, you're part of a budget that they want to get rid of. Yeah. Lil, Lil Haas X is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 that's this thing. But, and I know a lot of people are like, yeah, you got to leave this alone. Da, da, da. But once a man disrespects, once a man disrespects you, disrespects your mother, disrespects where you come from, and then portrays his big gangster, uh, OG Bobby, triple OG Bobby Johnson, and then you take him up on his offer. You say, yo, we can, however you want to do it. And you say, I don't want no issues. I don't want no problems. I just want to, I just want to give views. You a small dude. And then he deletes everything that he says. So everything that he says, he deletes to make it seem like everybody else is just picking on him. That's some little high sex type shit. I don't know, but it is what it is. You right on that point. I think it was a young dude. Exactly. Uh, it's choppy. You heard says you right on that point. I think it was a young dude. I think it was a young person too, only because it happened now. Like Halloween, this close. I mean, 2021, why now? He been out. If I think that if something was going to happen to him from his past, when he did that interview and he wrote up and said, this is basically where I, I did it at and I thought he was dead, but he wasn't. And he got into all type of gruesome details and, and, and stuff like that too. When he did that interview right there and nothing happened to him, not saying something should happen to him. Just saying when nothing happened to him after that, that's when I realized that this is why we don't understand why he still gets love in Harlem. This is why we don't understand why a lot of people of his age bracket you see them happy as hell, daps and hugs and slapping him up. Yo, it was good. Da, da, da. It's like I said, whatever, right or wrong, can't judge it either way. Whatever the situation was, was the situation. That's why I believe it had to be somebody that was much younger or it was either some random shit or it had to be somebody much younger than his age bracket. And they didn't do it because of what he did back then. Because most of these niggas is rats now. Most of these young boys are snitching down too. They don't care. That's just a, a bigger target to keep the heat off of them. No rat. And I think it was in May. Let me see. Uh, M dot and fat man says the N was in Maine chilling, then wanted to go outside and couldn't stay away from Harlem. They should have put him AZ or out West. I think they, they could have put him anywhere. He still would have, he still would have came out. I think once his mother passed, um, like I said, Alpo didn't have really, he don't, <laughs> I was saying, I'm not saying he don't claim all of his kids, but he has a lot of kids that they say is he, they're saying is he, he's the father and he's not really like, actively showing that he, he is the father. Um, his friends, most of his friends don't really, I mean, he killed one of his good friends and most of his friends don't really trust him or like him. Probably the only thing they really had left in the world was his mother. If you think about it, we've seen Alpo outside more after the, I think it was the passing of his mother. Or it was somebody who died. It might have been his mother or his father, somebody who had passed. After that, that's when you started hearing more interviews. That's when you started seeing him more out. That's when you see him started flying down on motorcycles and, and doing all his, 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 his things. I think that he just, he he ain't care no more. He he knew something was going. Not saying he knew something was going to happen. He just figured like, damn, ain't it's messed up. I regret what I did, but I I can't take it back. It is what it is. I'm not just going to stay in the house for the rest of the day. His mother passed away. He probably ain't got nothing else he's living to love for. And just said, fuck it, I'm gonna go outside. Not saying that he wanted to die, but he's just like, if it happens, it happens. Um, I think that that's more realistically what happened. And then just what happened to happen was some young boy somewhere, maybe somebody. And his age bracket did put a battery in his back. Was like, yo, listen, yo, this, you can't, this, this rat can't just be like up and down the block, motorcycle. No, I don't care who, he, like, he making us look bad. I think somebody might have did that for clout, not for the principle of what he actually did. Uh, I don't think it was karma. It honestly, might have been clout. Um, my personal opinion, like I said, it's not based on anything except for just me, just, just, just thinking that. I guess. Um, hang on, let me see. Shouts out to, hang on, it's about to load now too. Shouts out to Rob with the $40 donation, the $40 uh, Cash App donation. Appreciate that. I can't have it uh, pop up on the screen right now because it went through Cash App, not the uh, Super Chat drink. But on the next video, I'll have that uh, up for you. So again, shout out to the homie Rob with the $40 Cash App donation. Definitely appreciate that, homie. Yo, whoever, anybody else ever quit smoking? Like, does your, does the patch itch? Is it supposed to itch that bad? Like, I don't know whether this is like on wrong or something, but I know it's working because I don't, I still don't want a cigarette, but it just feel weird. Like it itches for some reason, but, um, yeah, 30 days clean. I haven't had a cigarette since last month on the first. Definitely proud of myself. And oddly enough, when I just said that, I just kind of had the feeling to want a cigarette. But I'm not going to smoke. It's cool. I'm 30 days clean. I can keep going. <laughs> I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, no rat in my paperwork, A1, and I pride on that. Definitely. I respect that. I respect that. He came at wifey. He need that two-piece and a biscuit. <laughs> 
Yeah, stat sits you on death row 20 to 30 years. A new president in office coming with budget cuts could get you executed in one to three years with a federal death penalty. Yeah, that's not good. I quit three weeks now. Way to go. Oh, General Toes, you quit three weeks? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm about about four weeks, but you could you could definitely do it. Um, really, what I did to quit smoking was, besides the patch thing, because some days I do be forgetting to put the patch on, it's like the things that would trigger me, I tried to. Not saying it perfectly, but I tried to, and I knew it was about to trigger me. I just either, before it triggered me, I made sure it was a way it, I didn't have to see it or I didn't have to deal with it, whatever like that, and this one from there. So there was some days where I, I, I didn't have a cigarette, where I was just angry. I may be acting different, you know, flipping out, just doing some weird type stuff. But, um, yeah, smoking cigarettes is definitely addition, especially Newports, because I, I can feel the difference now. Uh, congrats, bro. Oh, snaps. My daughter is watching the uh, joint now, so I got to watch my language. Heavy shouts out to Shamiz World. If you got any kids um, that, like, plays with toys or does, like, to like watch toy reviews and stuff, my daughter has a YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I just pinned it at the top of the, uh, at the top of the chat. Uh, so if you have kids, have your kids follow her channel. We do like toy reviews and like cooking and stuff like that too. By the way, making pancakes is impossible. I'm letting you guys know that right now. So if you've never made pancakes in your life, don't even try. Just go to Denny's like that because the directions on the back of the pancake box is not the directions to make pancakes. And I follow, you know, I follow the directions perfectly. I don't mean to go, like, I got to get this out. <laughs> I got to get this out. We're going to talk about album. I got to get this out while these pancakes. This pissed me the fuck off. So everybody can be telling me, like, sometimes I'll be cooking stuff wrong or cooking too long because I'll be following directions. So I got some pancakes for me and my daughter to make some pancakes. And I followed the directions perfectly. They said take, like, a a, a cup of the, uh, whatever it says, take, like, a cup of the uh, pancake mix and a cup of water and two teaspoons of oil and one egg or something like that and mix it around. So when I mix it around, it said it's supposed to make eight to Eight to ten pancakes, but it was about this much batter. It was about the batter. Was about it was about this much batter. Bowl was about this big. About this much batter. Said eight to ten, eight to ten pancakes. So I'm looking at after we mix everything up until we follow the directions perfectly. I'm like, this ain't gonna make eight to ten pancakes. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make eight to ten pancakes. I look at Shamish. She said, No, we gotta try it. I said, You know what? Try it. I'm gonna be positive. Maybe we'll make eight to ten pancakes. Man, I put that joint inside of the uh, the, the 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 pancake joint, and it just it fried up. But it was like it was like thin. It was no, it was, it was enough to maybe make three or four real pancakes. And it wasn't even thick. It was like mad thin and small like that. So I looked at the front of the box, look at the pancakes on the front of the box. Look at our pancake. Front of the box, our pancake. Put them both together. They don't look the same. Look at the directions again. Look at the re, re, re. You look at the measurements. Everything is perfectly the same. Like the, I followed the directions perfectly. Everything to a T. So then I asked a few people like, yo, you ever made pancakes? It was like, yeah. I'm like, Ever come out right? It was like, yeah, it's like, well, my joints came out bad because I followed the directions. Like, See, that's where you messed up. You wasn't supposed to follow the directions. This mother told me I was not supposed to follow the directions. That's what the directions on the back of the pancake box is for. So I'm supposed to buy the pancake box. They're supposed to have uh, directions on the back of it. And I'm not supposed to follow it. How am I supposed to make it if I can't follow it? My bad, y'all. I'm just mad because we, we went through like a box, like literally like a box and a half of pancake mix trying to make pancakes that day. And we still had no edible pancakes. But back to Alpo. Let's get to some of these comments. My bad, Shami too. Shami is watching this too. My bad, daddy gonna learn how to make some pancakes. We good. Uh, that's Aunt Chamama. Anyone call himself after dog food. You can't expect much from probably the BS he was into. I heard he tried to get back. I heard he tried to get back in the game and either ran off on the plug or started snitching again. I don't think he ran off on the plug and started snitching again. Apple was, who's going to buy, who's going to do any criminal activity with Apple in 2021? I don't think that rumor is true. I don't know. I, I don't think that's wrong. I don't think that's true. Um, yeah, cause if you're the plug, first of all, if you're the plug, why would you trust that he's not going to kill you or telling you or telling you and kill you? And if you're, if you're not the plug, the person that's buying from him, why would you think that he just, I don't think that's true. I don't know. Oh, you dumb bro. SMO. If you quit for four years, why you start smoking again? G, uh, I'm kind of late, but yeah, I'm in here. Every gun was good. What are some of your triggers for smoking? 13 figures crew. What are some of your triggers for smoking? <laughs> it almost triggered me right there. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a, I, maybe maybe when I hit the 60 day mark, actually, you know what? I'm not even going. It's just what, whatever triggers you, whatever you feel, whatever pisses you off, or whatever uh, aggravate, whatever drives you to want a cigarette. Like right then, you gotta just you gotta block it away or make it to a way to where you can't you can't see it or it, you don't have to deal with it. Um, 
They let him get comfortable. They rocked him to sleep. Nah, dudes caught him slipping from back when he was out. I don't know. Revenge don't have no time. You're right. Revenge doesn't have any time, but for the type of stuff that he did, I don't think you wait in 5, 10, 15 years uh, to something like that. You getting hit in, in I don't, I don't think, I don't think it was that. I don't know. I'm not one of those YouTubers who say, well, I think it was this person from this city or this age bracket. Da, da, da. No, cause some of these YouTubers be dead ass, red ass police, like just saying people names and showing videos where he said this in this video and then showing, no, we don't have to, that's, let the police do their work. If you have a theory, you just have a theory and you just say it based off of the facts that's already out. You don't give new facts to social media, um, during an open case, but that's, that's, that's just other people, man. Uh, his old crew got the drop on him. Alpo knew he, Burn powerful people. His old crew been had to drop on him. His old crew had to drop on him while he was in jail. When he got out of jail, his old crew had had, had all of that. I don't think that that's. I don't know. Maybe it was. Like I said, uh, revenge has no 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 time limit on it, and we we all won't know. I mean, we won't know until they uh, solve the crime. I guess he did try to. I was watching um earlier today. Shout out to uh to Jack Frost and BBN Network. I did catch some of his live early, earlier today. Um, make sure you subscribe to Jack Frost and BBN Network. Um, but he was saying that the, uh, well, he was showing like where the car, where Alpo car was at. I guess it was like a police station. So I don't know whether maybe he got shot. And he was trying to make it to the police station, but neither, neither here nor there. They probably have cameras down there and we'll probably get some more facts going for it. So until we have facts, no blaming anybody, no saying anybody did anything. You have your theories based off of what's already out there or just a blanket theory. You could just say, I think somebody, with a fitted cap did it. That's cool. Now, if you say, I think somebody with a fitted cat with a size 12 Jordans wearing a, a, a Versace jacket did it. That's a little different. That's kind of borderline right there. Um, no, that, that's dead ass right. That's snitching. That, that's snitching, bro. That's telling. Uh, you have to wait that long because he had too much eyes on him. They had to wait till people forget, including him. But he didn't forget. He literally just recently just said that he, I don't know. The I, he's, it happened in front of a police station. Like he, he not, it didn't happen in front of a police station, but in the vicinity area where police are at. Um, just because somebody say they're coming to see you, it doesn't mean that they're going to knock and announce themselves. Uh, the enemy's public. You right. You right. Shouts out to Latanya Hinton, but not out of ten. It'd be the feds on here. That was a hit, fam. Might have been a hit. Probably, it probably was. I mean, realistically, is more than likely probably was it. Could it be something else? It could be. That S was fake. Now I don't think that was fake. I don't think he's. What, what purpose would he have to fake his death now? Who is he going to tell on now? Like, who's going to tell? You know what? I think I'm going to look into that. <laughs> I just thought about something. You know what? Because. You might have just, you might have just, you might have just, you might have just, just, I'm going to look into that. I'm we, we going to, what's today? Monday. I don't know if we're going to be able to, I got to take her to, she got, you know what we could, because she got dance class for two hours today. So I might go live uh, when she's at dance class, but I got to look into that. You might, you might have, I don't know. But, um, yeah, what's up with you guys today? How's everybody doing today? How about you? How's everybody feeling today? Uh, this actually, uh, congratulations. This is the most people we've ever had in a live, like literally ever, <laughs> but this is, this is dope. I appreciate you guys. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you like the video, share the videos, all that good stuff. Um, make sure you check out the, for, for all of you who game, anybody who does game. I know people who don't play video games. It's probably looking like why you keep talking about gaming because I do. I play videos. God damn it. My bad. My bad. I didn't mean to say that, but, um, yeah, I do play video games. So if you do want to, uh, game with me, we usually game at nighttime, um, follow me on Twitch, uh, follow me on Discord, all that information, whatever video you watch right now, somewhere in the description of that video, it'll be my contact information, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, something like that. Either DM me, I'm going to send you the link for Discord so you can know when we play, you can play with us, you can know when we're going to go live, you can go live with us, we can joke, we can do all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, the other day I did rage quit, I'm, I'm, I did, I, I was acting light skin the other day, so this is what happened, right? Before this even get out, because I think he might have recorded it, so I'm going to let you guys know now, before this get out, because I'm pretty sure he recorded it. Oh my God, this is the best, I, I, I did some light skin shit, I'm, I'm going to keep it G, I did do some light skin things. Um, so we were playing Call of Duty, right? So we were playing Call of Duty, and as always, I was up there dropping stuff because that's what I do. My gun go off in Call of Duty. Shouts out to Chris Tenerowix. I probably messed up your last name, my bad, but shouts out to the new subscriber, uh, Chris Tenerowix. 
Um, I went to Buffalo Public Schooling, so my sounding out words is kind of bad, bro. But shouts out to you. I appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, you officially part of the Bandana Fam. You tied in with DJ Bandana Black. Heavy shouts out to the Bandana Fam. Uh, my gamer tag is just DJ Bandana Black. It's um DJ Bandana Black on pretty much everything. All my um all my social medias, everything is at DJ Bandana Black. Um, but I am on Xbox because I am a great gamer. I mean, if I was an average person who might be losing in 2K, then I'd probably play PS5. Everybody know the better gamers are on Xbox. I mean, that's just a fact. That's, that's something we don't have to argue about. That's a fact. Everybody know Xbox is better than PS5. I'm just saying. Um, I should, like, disable the comments so y'all can't comment and say that I'm lying. That would be hilarious, but I'm not going to be petty and do that. No, I would. I just don't know how. If I could act, if I could say that about PS5 and actually block it where you couldn't comment back, I would do it, but I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know, I don't know the option. I, I'm not petty though. I would do that though. Um, but thank you for subscribing. I am on, I am one of those people. <laughs> Shamit says she's one of those people. They said he was upstate working and in, in the witness protection. Oh no, we're going to get this straight right now. We're going to get this straight right now. He was not upstate. Do not put that on us. You know, for years, they always said Buffalo, New York is not New York City. They always said Buffalo, New York is not New York City. It's upstate New York. It's our own thing. We not claiming Alpo or 6ix9ine. We can be included in New York City for all the other rap, dip set, locks, all that good stuff. Alpo 6ix9ine, it's Buffalo, New York, New York City. We still love you. It's all still New York. Still all fam. We still gang gang. We just going to separate this. Because y'all separated for years. Y'all made sure that people knew that Buffalo, New York was not part of New York City. And I love New York. I, the, my only thing on my bucket list is to go to Harlem because I'm the number one Dipset fan. I want to go to Harlem, and I wanted to go to where they shot uh, uh, the Purple City Bird Gang video. I want to go to Harlem, and I want to go where they shot the Purple City Bird Gang video. It's going to be on some 6 9 It's going to be like 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to be on Snapchat for like 30 seconds because that shit look dangerous, and I ain't from Harlem. I ain't got con no connection, and I'll be doing videos about people and shit like that. Even though it don't be disrespectful, sometimes people disagree, but I probably will pop up 4 o'clock in the morning, quick picture, quick live, post at 6 p.m. saying I'm out here, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I got to go to Harlem. Shouts out to um <laughs> to Dipset. I'll be getting carried away. I, like somebody will say something, I just have like a train of thought and just start talking because I forgot what I, what I was even just talking about. I just went into it just whole 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 rant. Fake this death. Uh, let me see. Uh, they said he was. Oh yeah, the upstate working thing. Yeah, don't don't put that on upstate, bro. Uh, six snitch nine next. This goes to show you it might be sweet for a year or two. Then when you least suspect it, boom. Um, I think six nine should be worried. I think six nine could possibly be next also too. But again, I think that the person that gets like when you look at it like this, like the reason why I was saying that I don't think it's something that they did because Alpha been out for a while. Six nine has literally walked the streets of New York City with just him and two of his homies, like no security, no nothing, just them two. He's been outside in these dangerous places by himself and nothing has happened. So if it was gonna be the people who the people that should do something to him, it's probably not going to be them. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be that random person who doesn't like him because he's a rat. Who never met six nine in his life. Never had anything to do with him. Ready to just crash and burn and throw away, throw away the rest of their life because gang, gang, squad, squad. Go think they cool, but they killed the rat uh, six nine over there too. It's going to be somebody like that that tries and do something like that who actually misses and probably hits an innocent person and throw away the rest of his life. And six nine just going to do a live calling him a dummy. That's probably what it's going to be. That's why I'm saying the same thing with Alpo. Who's going to this? high of a time you know he's a like who's going to do that besides the people who owe him that from back then but why now you see what i'm saying i don't know that's just me though uh sports talk 845 was good peace king was good was good 10 arrow wits lies he ain't fake his death dude dude's done literally walked up and seen his dead body my g just came from harlem they got the pick of him laid out g ain't no faking that yeah, I heard, I heard they do have the pictures laid. I heard that they're, they're partying in Harlem. I heard everybody celebrating all types of stuff. I want to talk about that too. I want to talk about that too. We're going to talk about that. And you know what? I, I might, I think I'm going to visit Harlem first and then we're going to talk about that. I'm not going to say that now, but, um, yeah, I did hear people are, are partying and celebrating and, and, and things like that. That's, I, I did hear that. Um, dog, nice to catch a live show. Larry Shepard, I'm, I'm happy that you did catch a live show. By the way, too, by a show of hands, and we're not on Zoom, so you can't show your hands, but by a show of likes or comments, uh, do you guys like when we do these lives earlier in the day, say 12 noon around this time, or 12 midnight? Like I said, we're keeping them at 12 noon for now, but I'm just trying to get the, just of the feel when everybody's up and when everybody's gonna be on, because niggas be tired. I work too much. I got, I got, I got things to do. I got family. I got friends. I got, 
I got a lot, a lot going on. So me being able to be live at 12 noon and 12 midnight and I work three to 11 and I do a bunch of promotion and other stuff and I have a kid and a, a relationship, a bunch of just different stuff, um, that I have to take care of. I, I don't think I could do live every <laughs> twice a day, 12 noon and 12 midnight, but y'all just let me know uh, which one is better for y'all and then we'll go from there. But we're probably for now, we're going to be doing them 12, 12 noon. So set your reminder. Tuesday through Saturday, 12 noon. Tuesday through Saturday, 12 noon. Um, the Blackout, DJ Band in the Black. Heavy shouts out to Eldorado TV, Eldorado TV with the Super Chat donation. I appreciate that, homie. Um, why didn't it pop up on the screen? Hang on a second. Uh, where's the alerts? Alerts, Eldorado. Oh, because it's delayed. It's going to take like 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. Oh, so by the time I say this, then it's going to show up because I was looking at that one. That's going to look really crazy. It's going to look like I knew the future, but it's not. Because I'm looking at two different chats. One of them is delayed. The other one isn't. So I seen a notification. I shouted it out. Then it popped up. But um, <laughs> heavy shouts out to Eldorado TV. I appreciate that. Uh, was there a, let me see. I was trying to see it because sometimes when people donate or do the super chats, they have like a message or something that they want to say. I just want to make sure I didn't miss it because I can't see it on this screen. Hang on. Uh, or maybe it wasn't, uh, but heavy shots out Elder Ronald TV. Appreciate that fam. Appreciate everybody supporting the channel. Um, a lot of them ends live in Jersey. They don't even be out there like that, bro. I just came from Harlem where they shot the purple city bird gang video. Plus I went to where they shot the old boy video. Harlem lit my G. I believe you was lit. I don't want to go when it's lit. I don't want to go when it looks like they're doing that video. So I believe you when it looks like they're doing the video right there. I just, like I said, I'm the number one Dipset fan. My name wouldn't be being in the black without Dipset. It's a long story. If you watch any of my older videos, I explained it in. If not, I'll probably do a video sometime this week explaining it. But I got to go. The only place I have to visit before I leave this earth is Harlem. I have to go to Harlem before, before I die. And the bad part about it is I lived in Buffalo, New York. I ain't going to say my whole life, but I did live in Florida, uh, a couple other places here and there, but I've been in Buffalo, New York pretty much my whole life. I've never been to Harlem and I've never been to Toronto. I can see Canada from my job. Like literally from my job, if I look out the window, I can see Canada. Like from the across the world, I can see Canada. I've never been to Toronto, never been to New York City. But for my birthday this year, January 26th, everybody know Aquarius is the best. Um, I will be going to New York City for the first time ever. And I know a lot of people probably think like, oh, he can go to New York City. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to the tourist site, you know, Statue of Liberty and all that. Y'all know why I want to go to New York City? I just want to go to Harlem and I want to go try one of those hot dog stands that's on the corner and I want to try dollar pizza. That's it. That's all I want to do. And I want to go to, uh, what's that joint? Uh, I think they said, uh, we got it here too. Canal side, canal side, no canal street. We got canal side. I think y'all got canal street, whatever the canal thing is. I want to go there in New York city. I want to try the hot dogs on the street, not no fancy gourmet. I want the hot dog stand that's on the street with the, the smoke, uh, insulation on the metal part because he's been dragging on his little, uh, hitch truck going from location to location. I want to try one of those little street hot dogs and I want to try dollar pizza when I go to New York City. That's all I'm saying. Saline's hot dogs is better. Saline's, we do have the best hot dogs in Buffalo, New York. I haven't tried New York City yet. Saline's is better, but I have to try New York City hot dogs. Um, Let me see. I want to shout out. Shamise says she want to shout out. Heavy shout out to my daughter, Shamise Rowe, who's watching the live right now, who probably shouldn't be watching the live, and I'll make sure she won't be on any other lives after this, but I can't get up to go to another room to tell her to get off because I'm on live. Now, I ain't talking about nothing crazy right now anyway, though, but heavy shout out to my daughter, uh, DJ Hair Scarf Black, aka Shamise World. She does have her own channel. That's her channel right there. She does like toy reviews, uh, food, but we're going to be doing a lot more stuff on the channel. But if you have kids, subscribe to her channel. If you're grown, don't subscribe to her channel. But if you have kids, log on to their joint, subscribe to her channel. That's cool. Um, a lot of them ends in Jersey, bro. I can't, I just came home. Oh, hold on. These comments is going because I'm trying to look at both of them. Hang on a second. I don't even think it went live on Facebook. Hold on. Uh, if anybody is watching this on Facebook, please comment. Just so I can make sure they're still live on Facebook. I don't know, but I'll read the comments on here. Hang on a second. Um, oh, it is. I don't know why it's not showing the Facebook comments. We do got people on there too. Um, heavy shots out spills, my man. Oh, I forgot to get the robe too. Oh man. Uh, Twan, I'm gonna hit you up today. I promise you I'm gonna hit you up today, Twan. Um, oh, I got the bandana robe too. My man Twan helped me out. For those of you who don't know, actually, I can't even show you now because I just, I just got back from doing laundry. You know, when you're doing laundry, you gotta fold it up. So you just throw it on the bed. So I just threw all my laundry in the bed so I can fold it up after this live. So I'm not gonna show y'all guys right now. Actually, I can show you a picture on here. Hang on a second. Uh, 
I know you're probably thinking, like, why is he so excited about a robe? I'm going to show you why I'm so excited about a robe. Hang on a second. Um, can I move this over here? Let me see. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, I love red flannel. So red, I have pretty much red flannel, everything. I'm actually, contrary to popular belief, I'm actually wearing red flannel right now. I know you're probably thinking, like, you're not wearing red flannel right now. You have a tan shirt and a hat. You're fully ready to go out in, in the world today. Nope. I woke up late for the show. Took me a quick, <laughs> took me a quick shower, threw on my pajama pants, which happens to be red flannel. <laughs> happens to be red flannel, uh, threw on a shirt and hopped on the live. So I did take a shower. I did get dressed, but I just threw on a shirt and my pajama pants so I could do the live. Um, cause I wanted to be on time, I'm trying to be more consistent. Like I said, um, just on a serious note, right? Let me just be serious with you guys real quick, right? Let's, you know what? Let's set the tone. Be serious. Hang on a second. This is going to seem really childish, but it's just cool, and I want to do it. Hang on. Uh, let me see. We go here. Switch that to this. Full brightness. Go mic. Calm. All right, there we go. All right, so the colors are switched with my voice. Completely have nothing to do with this video, but it's just dope, and it took me three Days of setting up this apartment, setting up this little lounge area right here for that to work. It took me three days to get that exact angle for that to work that way. I'm proud of myself. I know you guys do not care. It's mostly for when I game on Twitch because I'll be on there dropping shit in Call of Duty because I'll be carrying my team. That's why my shoulders hurt right now because I'll be carrying my team in Call of Duty every night. Everybody send me firm requests, send me a request to get on Call of Duty because they know if Bandana Black is on the team, we're probably coming in first place because I'm probably going to drop 20 on a bad day. I'm dropping 20 on a bad day in Rebirth. I'm just saying. But that's neither here nor there. I ain't even going to toot my own horn. I'm just too good in Call of Duty. Uh, something ain't right. Think about it. If he got out of jail and got over, that's a lot of zeros. I don't know whether that's 20,000 or 20 million or 2 million, but he got whatever that amount of money that's more than I got, um, in cars, uh, how exactly. That's why I don't think, I, I don't think that either. If the big YouTuber don't stop, you know the rest. <laughs> nah, we not, um, that's not even, um, that's not even big YouTube anymore. That's Lil, Lil Haas X. That's what that is. Lil Haas X. That's not Sis no more. That's not, it's Lil, Lil Haas X. I want to go to New York. Shami, why are you still in the chat? Says, I want to go to New York. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't put that on live. Now I'm probably going to have to take her with me. Uh, you can go with me. It's not this time. I'm going for my birthday, but we're going on a trip too. Uh, let me see. Also, in 69 case, are not on the same level, bruh. All of Harlem let him think it was sweet. Then Rockabye Baby. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there. I don't know. This was a new Harlem beef. Nothing to do with DC ends and old Harlem ends. Kid Clientele 19. Heavy shots of the Kid Clientele 19. I, I don't disagree with anybody else's opinion. Like I said, these are all opinions, but I'm closer to what you're saying right there. Uh, I know my worth around here. Clapping emoji. Shouts out to them. Uh, Noon time. Okay, noon time. We definitely gonna do noon time. Alpo on six nine case is not the same. Fire from it. Word up, El Dorado. I'm way down in the comments. Hang on a second. Let me scroll down. Okay, there we go. For anybody comments that I did miss, I apologize. Like it's it's hard trying to keep up with both comments. It's not showing the Facebook comments. I'm looking at both uh, screens, but we'll start right here. Uh, let me see. Even if I get off, I'm still gonna hear you. <laughs> it should be funny. I said I should tell her to get off the line. <laughs> should be you. <laughs> So, yeah, that is true. It is true. Even if she get off, she can still hear me. I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I'm not really talking nothing too crazy right now anyways, but, um, keep thinking Harlem ends is sweet. If you want kid clientele, I'm not, I'm not thinking anybody is sweet. I, like I said, we don't know who, who did it and we're not going to say who did it. We're not gonna say who we think we did it, any of that, but I don't think anybody is sweet. It's just my personal opinion. I don't think that it was somebody from what he did way back then because it happened now. That's I'm just, it's not based off anything. It's just my theory. It's the way that I feel about it. Um, let me see. Red and black lumberjack. Do you have a hat to match Biggie? Yo, that's funny that you just said that because I was trying to show y'all something and then I got thrown off. But yes, I do have the hat to match. I'm about to show you guys. Y'all about to be cracking up about this, but I'm dead ass serious. Like, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys post by, how do I sort who posted it? Hang on. Uh, photos, public photos. No photos from friends in this group. See, uh, oh, posted by me, by you. Uh, see, uh, 
I hope I can. Sh- y'all about to be cracking. If I can find this picture, y'all about to be cracking up, yo. Um, let me see. Do this. Hang on one second. I'm just trying to see if I can pull this up for y'all because y'all about to be dying. Like- but y'all can see this right here, though. Hang on. This right here. I guarantee nobody got a better Christmas tree than me, though. Haters gonna say it's Photoshop. Hang on, this is my mom. Hello? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Alright. But, um, what was I about to say? I forgot what I was even saying. Oh, about my Christmas tree, right? So, haters are gonna say it's Photoshop. Haters are gonna say it's fake. But, this is my Christmas tree, and this is this is actually where we at right now. This is the background we at right now. It's just dark in the background; you can't see it right now. But this is definitely my Christmas tree, and I do have the hat to match. So yes, I do have the lumberjack with the hat to match. I got the pajama pants, and I also have. Hang on, let me see. I got the shower curtain. I got the bed. I don't know if I can show y'all on the. Hang on, because I I have it on my page, but I don't know how to get to it from this app. Hang on a second. Because when y'all see this, you can be like, yeah, he, he definitely OD with the flannel. But yeah, basically my whole bedroom is flannel. I got uh, flannel sheets, cover, pillowcases. I got red curtains, though. I didn't go, I didn't I didn't overdo it and go flannel curtains, though. They come from Amazon Tuesday. <laughs> I swear to goodness, my flannel pajamas, red and black, red and black lumberjack, you had to have to match. Uh, Call of Duty Legend, yes, with the red and black lumberjack, with the had to match. Yo, Akeem Keener was good. Lil Haas X. Uh, yeah, Fritz in LA was the real Harlem Legends. Uh, yeah, I heard of them too. Sly Barber, that was professional. You've seen that grouping. Uh, bruh, stay falling behind on the comments. Because I gotta figure out a way to, like, have both of them show, cause I'm, I'm on multi-stream, so it's supposed to show the comments from Facebook and from YouTube all in one thing, but it's showing me YouTube right here and then Facebook and YouTube here, and then it's slowing down here, but it's in real time here. It's just, I'm gonna get it together. When, when we go live, what's today? Oh, shoot. You know, I just thought about, I wasn't supposed to do the show today. It's supposed to be Tuesday through Saturday <laughs> at noon. I'm supposed to take Sundays and Mondays off. Um, well, this is the, uh, uh, the blackout, uh, reloaded, I guess. Yeah. Blackout reloaded show. But when we go live tomorrow and Tuesday through Saturday at 12 noon, today is Monday, right? Yeah, because I didn't go to work. Yeah, I really have uh, no idea. I really have no idea. What, oh, because I wanted to talk about the Alpo thing. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. All right. So it's cool. I mean, extra show, extra show is cool. We're kicking it with the fam. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do anyways. I ain't had nothing else to do either. Uh, I ain't going but, um, yeah, uh, so when we go live 12 noon, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 12 noon live here on the YouTube channel. Um, also it's live on Twitch. Uh, also I, I keep saying also, I might, I might have to have this scroll across the screen because the, did I play music in the beginning of this? Basically what happens is this, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why. So you about to get exclusive for everybody that's watching right now, all hundred and something of you, I can't see the numbers, uh, right now, but for everybody that's watching right now, the reason why we go live on both channels, right? So we go live on YouTube and we go live on Twitch. The reason why we go live on both is because like I always tell you guys, uh, I'm not just one of the people who hopped on YouTube and put a DJ in front of my name. I'm a DJ in real life. So music is always going to come first for me. So I'm a DJ first. Um, so when I start the shows off, I kind of try to like get in my zone, you know what I'm saying? Set, the, set the tone, set the ambience. And I like to play music in the beginning of the show. So long story short, playing music in the beginning of the show on Twitch, acceptable. It's cool for right now. Not that big of a loss, not that big of a deal. Playing music on YouTube, Bandana Black is probably going to be homeless. So that's the reason why these lives, I'll play the music in the beginning of the live, but directly after this live, I'm going to delete this live. So if you're not watching this live right now, the only way you can go back and watch the full live is to go to Twitch. Go to my twitch.tv slash DJ Band in the Black. But after this live, this whole thing will be deleted. Any good parts of this video will be broken up into clips for either Instagram or little uh, clips for YouTube. But as far as the actual lives, the live is going to be exclusive just for the Bandana fam. So if you Bandana fam, you take time out of your day to to, to watch my live video, to, to support, to send in donations, to like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. This is going to be especially for you. At first, I was going to take the route of doing the um, Patreon because they have a thing where you can do a Patreon where um, 
the if you want to see the live video, you have to pay like five or ten dollars a month or something like that, and then that'll be just for those people. I didn't want to do that. Um, I figured we still keep everything free. Um, but yeah, that's basically just the way that we we're, we're gonna have to do it on the channel for uh for for, for now. So we will go live uh, twelve noon. I will still play the music and all that too, but the live will be deleted like directly after it. So if you want to catch the live, is that's the point of a live? It's live. Let's communicate. Let's let's kick it with each other. Y'all all working from home anyways. Like COVID shut everything down. Everybody working from home. No, I'm lying because I don't work from home either. I, I gotta go to work tomorrow. But I just want to say that because it sounded like it was it sounded like it was going good with what I was saying, like that 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 went together, but that didn't go together. <laughs> the enemy's public was good. Swiss cheese, forty two bombs, slide. They was on war zone for a minute. Um, I gotta fly though. Stay up, G. Shout out to my G, Bandana Black, one love. Heavy shouts out Jada Kid and his five oh eight cents. Definitely, man. Enjoy your day. Appreciate you uh Stopping through, stopping through the blackout with DJ Bandana Black and the Bandana fam. We always appreciate everybody who comes through and kicking with us. Um, I gotta figure out how to, uh, keep up with the delay. Cause like, I'm watching in real time when I'm, so right now the camera that I'm looking at right now, right? There's a camera in front of me. I'm watching in real time. I can see all of the comments in real time. But then there's a stream of what you guys see over here, which I keep trying to look at, which is, I'm not gonna say slightly delayed, but, it was still just now showing me the picture of the flannel drain. That was then there like 30 seconds ago, but I'm going to figure it out. Anyways, I'm not just going to uh, ramble on. I'm actually about to make some lunch. Uh, for, uh, actually, you know what? I just got an idea. I think I'm about to do something dope. Just got a dope idea. I'll be coming up with dope ideas based off of stuff that have absolutely nothing to do with the idea. <laughs> so something that I just seen in the chat just gave me a great idea that had nothing to do with what was just in the chat, but I appreciate it. Um, but anyways, I will be, yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll be live some on some, sometime later on today. Um, but just so you guys could check me, hang on a second. Let me put this in the chat. Uh, I want you guys to check out the website. Uh, we do have our own website for those of you who don't know. I'm going to put this in the chat. Uh, hang on. And the reason why you guys don't know that, uh, we have the website is because I never really promote. I never really told you guys that we have the website, but I'm going to start putting it on the screen. Um, for those of you who do want to check out the website, it's not a lot on there right now, but if you ever want to see when we're actually live, if we are live, you can watch it on the website too, or you can watch it on Twitch or you can watch it on um, YouTube. But I do want you guys to, to, to go click on that and check out the, uh, bandanafam.com. We do have the website, bandanafam.com. I had to figure out a way to stop looking at this camera, start looking at this camera. I'm bugging. But anyway, Shami, I know you're still uh, listening. I'm about to, I got an idea. It's going to be pretty dope. I don't want to say it on live. Somebody might take it, but I have an idea. that's going to be dope for lunch. We're going to do that. We might video it. We might go live doing it. We might go live doing lunch. No, I'm lying. We're not going to lie. This is about to be a, uh, <laughs> this is about to be a hood meal, but it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. I tell you, uh, <laughs> I'll check y'all later on today. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out the streams, the blackout. Um, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, all jokes aside, I know a lot of people say this and a lot of times I say this, but honestly, right now, where I'm at in life, what I'm doing, where I'm, what I'm trying to do, what I have to do, I honestly appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys, uh, appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to, to watch, share, like, subscribe, donate. So even the bad comments, like when people get on there, are oh, you bugging? You don't know what you're talking about. You're not from Chicago, so you wouldn't know. Like what type of con that's, yeah, let's talk about that also, dude. Somebody said that in the comment, um, also too. So somebody had commented in a video that I did about Alpo. It said something to the tune and I, I didn't take this the wrong way. I did not take it the wrong way. They might have meant it the wrong way. I don't know. I, I didn't take it the wrong way. But they were basically saying that um, I can't talk about the Alpo situation because I'm not from New York City. The same way people from Chicago say you can't talk about a Chicago situation because you're not from Chicago. Same way people from Buffalo say you can't talk about a Buffalo situation because you're not from Buffalo. Um, if it's the truth and it's a fact and you can show that it's a fact, you can show this the truth. I don't have a problem with, I'm never going to be, I'm never going to be offended or I'm never going to hold you against the truth. Anybody, any situation, whether it's life, jobs, relationship, anything like that. I'm never, if you can be truthful to me, whether you, if you, if you can, if you can tell me the truth, we good. That, 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 that's it. So that's, that's the president that we're going to, we, we're going to set with that. Um, but 716-235-1016, 716-235-1016. If you guys do want to, um, uh, 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 call in, but like I said, with the whole, if you're not, from somewhere, it, it it don't make a difference. Like if you're, if I'm telling you the truth, you shouldn't be mad. I'm not gonna be mad if you tell me. If you tell me right, if you say, uh, the Buffalo Bills 
don't be winning a lot of games. I'm from the Buffalo, New York. I am Buffalo. That's my slogan. I made that up. You see anybody that says hashtag I am Buffalo, that's me. I made that up. I, I created it. I'm the creator of that. Um, hashtag I am Buffalo. But that would be the truth. They don't really win a lot of games. I'm not heavy in the sports. So I don't really watch. They might be doing good now. I'm just saying on average, as far as what I see, the facts of the news and the reports stuff that I see, the actual facts, they don't win. So you can't be mad about it. So when somebody says things like the killing in Chicago is out of control or the innocent babies and stuff like that got to stop, you get on the comment and say you're not from Chicago, you can't talk about it. You're an idiot. You're a fool and you're an idiot. You're part of the problem. If you're, I don't, if you're from Buffalo, you're saying that. You're an idiot. If you're from Chicago, you're saying that. You're an idiot. From Atlanta, you're saying that. You're an idiot. If somebody's telling you the truth, telling you something that can help you, and you just saying because they're not from there, they can't talk about it. If you tell me right now something in, in, in Buffalo is bad, if you say, uh, matter of fact, just recently, uh, a, a, a girl in the Langfields, um, Langfield Driver, Langfield Projects, I don't know the difference, but in, in the projects that's in, on the east side of Buffalo, um, a young lady was, uh, killed. She was in a car with, with some guys. I guess somebody shot up the car and she got, she got killed. Now, one of you guys got on the video and said, that's wrong. Y'all wilding in Buffalo. A uh, young lady shouldn't be getting killed. And I get on YouTube and I say, yo, you ain't from Buffalo. You ain't from 716. You can't talk about it. You don't know what's going on here. I'd be an idiot. I'd be a fool. The same way you'd be a fool would be an idiot to say the same thing about your city. And that's a fact. That's on me. You don't agree with that? You can unsubscribe. You can dislike all that. I stand on that though. Um, 716-235-1016 is the number two. 716-235-1016. I'm read a couple more comments and then we are going to wrap this up so I can get, uh, oh, I forgot about that. Damn. I got to start checking my emails. Um, let me see. Much respect, Bandana Black. Appreciate that. What it do, DC in the building? Heavy shots out in the yo. You know what DC got though? That's good though. What it, was it? The uh, what's the sauce? We got it off of Amazon. We did a video about it. Um, damn it. Hold on. Don't tell me. I'm about to show you. Don't even tell me. I'm about to show you. But DC got this sauce. I'm saying if you eat chicken, like Buffalo wings is good, right? So Buffalo wings. I'm from Buffalo, so I gotta say Buffalo wings is the best, right? So. Buffalo wings, best wings in the world. Got to say that. By the way, if you live in a city and you order buffalo wings and they give you um, ranch dressing, like if the wings come with ranch dressing, frisbee the wings and walk. Don't fr- you might if you get punched in the face with frisbee and the wings. Listen to me, that's your fault. But just don't get the wings if it, if it comes with ranch dressing. You order buffalo wings and it comes with ranch dressing. They they cheating you. That's not that's not buffalo wings. If it comes with ranch dressing, that's not buffalo wings. Now listen close to what I'm saying. Buffalo wings come with blue cheese. Buffalo wings are only supposed to come with blue cheese. And ranch is supposed to be the other option. You're supposed to say, I'd rather ranch than blue cheese. I'd rather ranch than blue cheese too, and I am from Buffalo, but it's supposed to come with blue cheese. The wings are supposed to come with blue cheese. So if you order buffalo wings, they only come with blue cheese, and ranch is the option. They don't come with ranch, and then blue cheese is the option. I know I sound like I just went on a rant, but Buffalo, I'm, I am Buffalo, Buffalo wings. Y'all know what I'm saying. But, um, back to the, to, to the sauce from DC. Let me I'll show you guys this real quick. Hold on. Uh, cause I, we actually did a video about it, but I don't remember the, hang on. I'm going to try to pull it up on here. Hang on. I'm going to show y'all. See, I, see, I don't think that I'm fronting either. Hang on. Videos. This is the other channel, by the way, too. If you guys aren't subscribed to the bandana family channel, make sure you, uh, Subscribe. I'm actually about to change the name of this channel because it's going to be mostly gaming and uh, food reviews. But what was the sauce I got? It was the hang on. Better than buffalo wings. Was it this? Nah, what was the sauce? Hang on a second. Don't tell me. I'm not even about to look at the comments yet. Just give me like three seconds. Hang on a second. Uh, It might have been this. Yep. There we go. Bong. Hold on. What was the name of this sauce? So recently, tried to some tasted some uh, buffalo wing sauce. Because we wanted to try to see whether this was going to be. Was it the mambo sauce? Because we did a comparison of a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different, uh, what you call it? Uh, let me see. Hang on. Sauce. So here's the moment we all been waiting for. Mambo sauce, you guys better not let me down. One of these was the sauce from DC. I can't remember. It's either the Mambo sauce, the Boss sauce, or the Country Yo. sauce. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Hey, what's going on, Bandana fam? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. And if you're new to this channel, this is your first time on the Bandana Fam channel. If you're watching this video, you are. 
you already officially part of the fam, you tied in with DJ Bandana Black. So today's video, we're doing a, a wing mukbang, uh, trying out some different sauces. Um, I was talking to somebody from DC, and they were telling me about this uh, this mambo sauce. They were telling me about okay, this mambo yeah, so sauce. Okay, yeah, so it was the mambo sauce. Say hello. But yeah, it was the uh, it was the mambo sauce. See, I know what I be talking about. Y'all be saying I don't be having my facts together. I don't be having my facts right. Knew it was the mambo sauce. Was it the mambo sauce? Yeah, it was the mambo sauce. Yeah. Heavy shots out DC, the mambo sauce. That sauce is good, yo. Uh, let me get back to some of these comments. Uh, let me see. Yes, yes, me. You can't help it when I'm on live. It will always delay. Hold on. Anybody can be touched. Got to fly. You, know, sauce. you can't help it when I'm on live. It always delay. Two seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, so it's always going to be a delay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Your delay on YouTube ain't that bad. Okay, it might just be the chat then. So I'm just going. I'm just going to start looking at this chat because it's actually showing me the. Uh, it's showing me the Facebook Facebook messages now. I don't know why it wasn't showing up on the screen before, but it is showing me the Facebook messages now. So we straight. Um, I'm just gonna have to move the chat on the other side. I'm gonna have to move it to this side of the screen. So when I'm looking this way, it actually uh, doesn't look like I'm looking at the chat right. You know what? I keep saying I'm gonna have to move this. I could just move it. Move this over here. Hang on. So we'll put this right here, and then we'll move over this way some. But then I'm not looking at the camera, so that's still going to be awkward. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But either way, uh, that was a sauce that was from uh, D.C. that I was talking about. Uh, Y'all got to check out that sauce. That sauce is good. Uh, let me try to move this back over. I got to stop trying to edit the screen while I'm actually on live before I mess up something that I cannot fix. Because it took me forever to get this joint to look like this. But, yeah, heavy shots out D.C. Um, that's like saying you're not from Cleveland. You can't talk about LeBron bad. Exactly. You're not from Cleveland, so you can't talk about LeBron. He well alive. I will be tuning in every day, homie. I'm on the West, so it's 9 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, I appreciate that. Definitely. Please set that reminder and tune in every day. Like I said, we today, we wasn't. I, this is how much I enjoy this. We supposed to do this Tuesday through Saturday at 12. We've been on here for over an hour. Today is Monday. I didn't even realize that I wasn't supposed to go live today, but we did it, so it's cool. Um, he will. I will be tuning in every day. Definitely, I appreciate that, DJ Black Rag. I appreciate that, Yo Bandana. How was Benny doing? Um, I seen a picture with him in Westside Gun the other day. He was out of the. I don't know whether that was a picture before the hospital or after the hospital, but I think Benny is good. I haven't heard anything else. Um, about it. I didn't even know nothing. Honestly, nothing that had happened. I just seen a bunch of people on Facebook talking about it. And I still don't know what happened. I think maybe he was sick or something. I don't think it was COVID, but uh, prayers to him for a, a quick recovery. Um, blue cheese, talk that talk. We definitely got to talk that talk about the blue cheese, man. They be disrespecting the buffalo wings with the uh, with the ranch dressing. Even though I like the ranch dressing better, it's supposed to come with the blue cheese and then ranch is the option. Y'all eat yum yum sauce? Y'all eat yum yum sauce? I don't, I think I heard yum yum sauce. I'm not sure. Oh, I see my review. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, Shakers too. Uh, Y'all gotta. Um, matter of fact, I'll plug that when we go live later on tonight. I'll uh, play some of that and plug that in there too. Um, matter of fact, y'all got it. Y'all follow her too. If you're watching um, on here too, follow. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll give y'all all the details though when we go later on today. But it's these. Uh, I don't even know the the name. It's like a roll. It's like cheesecake stuff in them. It's like a cheesecake roll, I guess it's called. But that joint was the. Deli- I cooked it a little bit too long because I didn't follow the directions. But that joint was delicious, yo. I gotta get some more of those. But she got everything. She got ice cream. She got those. She got uh, uh oh, the steak rolls. Too. It was like a steak a roll thingy too. That's pretty good. The the titles of these things I'm probably messing up. I'm just telling you like the description of the food. But yeah, all of that stuff looks good. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll plug that in later on on the uh, live tonight too. We also have a, a new sponsor for the channel too. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get that promo done by tonight, but we might have to put that up tomorrow. Um, let me see. Oh, shout out to Cousin Jarrell, too, uh, watching live on the Facebook joint, too. Appreciate that. Um, peace, good brother. The enemy's public. Appreciate you. What do you know about that 585 uh, sauce, ball sauce? Man, Glockchester, New York, Rochester, New York. That's that's like my second home. I love, like, what you know about the garbage plates, though? What you know about the garbage plates out there in Rochester? But yeah, that ball sauce is good as hell. The I, I think we were trying to decide between the ball sauce and the country sweet sauce, which one is better. You, you can't pick one over the other. I tried. They're both equally good. The only thing I would say is that the ball sauce might have a little bit more of an edge because it's a little bit more spicier, I guess. But the ball sauce and the country sweet sauce is good as hell. They're both excellent. Um, by the way, I didn't make those. Did I make that chicken? No, I might have got, I think I got that from the Chinese store, the chicken that's in that video. I'm looking at it like y'all can see it, like I still have it on the screen. My bad, bro. Um, 
CT in the building. I believe CT is Connecticut. Every shout out to Connecticut. Uh, Shmi says one, two, three. I don't know what that means. Rude dog, 914, peak skill, click city, new to the page, just subscribed. I appreciate that, Rude dog. Appreciate that. Uh, good looking. Appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I wanted to tell you, I'm a diehard Buffalo Bills fan and I'm from DC. <laughs> King Alfred, aka Big South says, I wanted to tell you, I'm a diehard Buffalo Bills fan and I'm from DC. I appreciate that. Unfortunately for me, I'm a, I'm a Bills fan by default. I'm not into sports at all. I'm the, probably the only guy on this earth that's not. You see that TV right there with all the lights and looks all spectacular in this front room and all that too. You know what I be doing on Sundays when the game is on? In my room watching Food Network on my 13-inch laptop in my king-size bed with the flannel covers. That's what I be doing because I'm not really into sports. I mean, I understand it, but it's just like I just don't – just don't excite me. Like honestly, I, I couldn't name five active players in any sport. Like right now, if somebody just ran in with the thirties. Like, listen, name five active players in any sport, or it's a wrap. Same prayers. I ain't even attempted to. At, at basketball, I might be able to though. But I might be able to name five basketball players. We got LeBron. Uh, we got LeBron. We got uh, Melo. We got the other Melo, big baller brand. I remember them, big baller brand. See, that's three. LeBron Mello, Big Brawler LeBron Mello, uh, Swiss Brothers. See, I know five. I'm officially a sports person. Uh, Curry and Clay, Golden State. Curry and Clay, Golden State. So that's five. Curry, Clay. I even know the teams. Curry, Clay, Golden State. LeBron, Thicky with the Lakers now. I forgot the other two I said, but I said five. I said five. So we got five. I'm officially a sports guy. So y'all better start inviting me over for these little Sunday football parties and a little chicken wing dip and pizza and wings and all that too. I'm officially, I passed the test. I said five. I wanted to tell you in the AM. He said it wasn't COVID related. He did say that. Okay, cool, cool. Glad that it wasn't that. I have a website now with shipping. I'll post it later when you go live. Thank you. Okay, cool. Matter of fact, um, uh, DM, DM it to me if you get a chance, the, uh, the info for the site and all that too, so then I can just have it as a pre-roll on the drink before I actually even go live when everybody's, uh, I can, just DM it to me, I got you. Um, General So Cheese Steak A Rolls be official, shout out to Camden, New Jersey, best one I ever had. Yeah, man, them Cheese Steak A Rolls is excellent, but them, uh, um, no, th- th- yeah, the Cheese Steak A Rolls, so the Steak A Rolls is good, those drinks is excellent, but them Cheese Steak, or not Cheese Steak, is it Cheese Steak? Cheesecake or whatever, the, whatever the, the dessert version. I'm going to get it all and put it on. It was delicious. It was delicious. It was awesome. Um, King Alfred, I'm the only person in Vegas right now with a Buffalo attire on. <laughs> only person out there with Buffalo attire. Be safe, bro. Definitely got to be safe out there. Um, but yeah, I'm about to wrap this up because I'm, I'm Jai type starving also too. Um, and I got to hang on a second. Oh, we got another, uh, Another Cash App donation. Heavy shouts out to see. I like when I can catch. You know, I'm gonna start just posting the phone. I think I'm gonna probably try to mount the phone up here, maybe. Or oh, you know what? Yo, I am an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. Yo, I am an idiot. I just I am an idiot. But shouts out to uh, I'm an idiot. After today, we'll be able to see it on the screen. I just thought about something. We'll be able to see it on the screen after today. Um, but heavy shouts out uh. Uh, rail with the $10 cash app donation, heavy shots out with the $10 cash app donation. Definitely appreciate that. Um, I appreciate all the donations. I appreciate the super chats. I appreciate you donating your time. I appreciate you sharing, liking the video, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I just thought about something. So, you know, I was trying to say like, I can't show it on the screen. It's because when you do like the, um, say like, if you go, if you go to the website, if you go to the bandana fam, uh, websites, if you go to the bandana fam.com website, there's like a little drink where you can, Put whatever amount you want to donate, like a quarter, three million dollars. I mean, you might want to throw me three million in, in crypto. No, I don't want crypto. I don't even know how to like trade or sell. Just give me if, you, if it's three million in crypto or like twenty thousand in food stamps. Right now, I probably take twenty thousand in food stamps. Cause I don't understand the whole crypto thing. I know I can. Sp- I can go to Steve Meats right now with the twenty thousand in food stamps and be good, and I can sell someone on the side and probably make three million. But three million in crypto, I don't know if I can do that. I don't even know why I just made that comparison because I was just thinking about something, saying something, but oh yeah. So with the website, Jason, if you, <laughs> if you go to the bandanafam.com and donate, it'll pop up on the screen like this. Hang on a second. Uh, how do I? Okay. Yeah. So 
if you if you do it through YouTube or if you go to bandanafam.com, it'll pop up on the screen like that. But if you do it through Cash App, because Cash App is not a plug in, it only pops up on my phone. I was saying I have to like shout everybody out. But now during the lives, if you do it during the live, after this live, it will pop up on the screen because I just thought about something. I can actually capture the screen of the phone. So when you guys do do it, it'll just pop up on the screen or I can have it scroll to where I could just copy and paste and put. I just figured it out why we was on live. I appreciate you guys for actually helping me figure it out because actually I don't even know why, but I just figured it out now because I was on live with you guys, but I appreciate that. But anyways, I'm about to go get some lunch. Yo, that just scared down. Did y'all see that? I thought, I thought I was getting swatted. Did y'all just see that? Dan didn't thought I was going to, my heart just stopped. <laughs> I'm happy that happened on live. When I talk about this later on today, nobody's going to believe me, but I dead ass thought I was getting swatted. I don't know why I was thought I was getting swatted because that's just the door to the top porch. Like that's the way to get in the house. But I don't know. I thought maybe like freeze going to the ground. He's coming out with a drink, get on the ground. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, I probably would have went viral and got some views. No, nah, don't do that. that. That's why I should ain't cool, bro. But y'all be safe. As I always say, it's called, I didn't even finish my Red Bull, but it's called Pop, not Soda or Soda Pop. Yes, this thing right here. Well, this is like a Red Bull. This is still technically a pop, but it's called Pop, not Soda or Soda Pop. So when you go to a restaurant and they say, do you want something to drink? Say, yes, I like a pop. Not I like a soda or I like a soda pop. It's called Pop. Just let you know that now. That's the most important thing I can tell you today. That's the most motivation you're going to have for the day. That's going to help you in life. You're probably going to get a raise because of the information I just gave you. And I'm looking at the wrong camera. But the information I just gave you. But life is what you make it, so make it. It's DJ Bandit in Black. Mr. Well Connect, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag, I am Buffalo. We out. Did I just? Let's throw up a gun sign? I was, my, I was trying to throw up a peace sign. Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah, I would not. I'm not gang. What 50 say? I am not gang gang. I do not gang bang. I was trying to throw up the peace sign. Peace sign. Not this. Whatever this means, I'm not that. Whatever that, I'm not that. I was trying to throw up.